copyright disclaimer. This was the dream I had on 125.24. I was in a jeepney and suddenly I wrote something on a glittery cloth that made a former colleague named Sheila gun berserk as she was few years that I had written down on her piece of cloth. I was surprised as I didn't know that it was hers and the written word was Woman Janae. In turn, her action made the other passengers treat me like I was crazy and bullied me. And I woke up. Upon googling the word, I was led to open the UN Women entry. Lo and behold, there was Karen Davila, a Filipino news anchor and influencer. And to add as well, when I checked, the word gini or gaini it says that it's a science of women coincidences are not accidental going back to karen davila there's the one-eyed symbolism and other masonic poses with the letter m on the right and the horn sign no surprise as well that quote unquote she is a puppet of the world economic forum sounds like she has both and they like wearing the black and white that means darkness and light and have also started to believe that they are wearing it to invoke demons as can be seen here in this video called the uh, crystal polarization as well with the uh, famous ishtars but I digress and going back to the topic, their gender equality campaign or women empowerment is a cloth in order to push their agenda. It's not about cancelling people, it's not about removing women or removing men, it's just about more inclusive language. Transgenderism and pronouns change. Human in the Black's Law Dictionary actually is referred to a monster that has no right to inherit or own property. And this gender equality, women empowerment that they had been pushing is only a tool for them to emasculate the men and harden the women. Breaking down the design that our Almighty Yahuwah have created. Hence their bombardment of these ideologies via the so-called champions or influencers and that's what we want to see for women and girls here in the philippines to have that freedom and dream to decide to have that opportunity for them to really become what they want to be without any worry or fear and that their voice and their contributions are being counted and being considered when decisions are made and that those contributions they would benefit and enjoy so i started with you and women in 2020 did you catch that? It was quick. Notice the hand sign. That notorious horn sign. And that's her video four days ago. A self-professed born-again Christian and yet she had this video up on her channel. Love was the religion of both my parents. I was not just accepted as a child, I was celebrated. And here's his one-eyed symbolism photo. And once again, that zebra stripes. In a Jesuit school. In a Jesuit school, part of the club. How do you know each other? Um, well, you're the one who reached out to me first. You know, it was such a breather to see somebody blooming so beautifully and fully loved by her father. His dad, who is a politician, part of the club. One eye under Wait. shadow. Same. Yeah. Actually, you're um really religious family, so... Yes. So and your dad also, kayo nakakagula how open he is. My parents are so religious, um, and their families are religious too. Uh oh So yeah, and it's beside <laughs> my room pa. <laughs> Actually, yeah. what's interesting is you're a Catholic you. and struggle with acceptance. No, never. Wow. Never. Paganism, Catholicism, Vatican, 
under the Jesu control, pushing the New World Order and the Luciferian agenda. Her to be happy. Isn't it interesting that this word is a uh, an Egyptian deity, an intersex one. Their deity of the river of Nile and fertility. This deity has a towering water plant on, on its head. Square jaw, beard, broad shoulders, but the breasts are like a nursing mother and a pregnant belly. Sounds like what? A baphomet. Coincidences are not accidental. I want her to have a uh, uh, love in, in, in her life. That's what we want for our children, that they be the best they want to be, they be happy, and they'll have love. Sharing my experience, I feel Baruch and grateful to Yahuwah that he led my parents to stop me from loving a girl. And that girl is now married. And as for myself, there's a possibility that I will be married someday, Yahuwah desiring if He will lead me to someone. Therefore, I don't believe that tolerance is the right way to show our ahava or love for the children. As we're told, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he turns not away from it. I, I want her to have a person, a man, that would love her the same way that I loved her. Mashiach Yahushua is that perfect man who can love us unconditionally. And most of all, it was Yahuwah who had sent him for us because of Ahava, love. The greatest love a father can have, could have for a child. Praise be to Yahuwah, our father. And let the light of Yahushua be upon us all. Shalom.